See how that's the thing. It's um. You see how it's extended? It's like completely tight. But that's the thing. That's the last one. That's the that's the yeah. least as it could be. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why um, I tried to do. I didn't know. I didn't know if that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm no, trying to see. On, it's that black. It's the black. That's always the black cat. Mm -hmm. Koa, come on. Now I see she's adjusting it now. Yeah, yeah. Now she's walking. She's, I see. Now she's getting used to walking. Yes, because before, the first time it was like weird. Now she's going to be getting that support she uh -huh. need. And she was like, oh, okay, it's actually helping me to walk. Come on, Koa. All right, what's going on, everybody? What we're getting into now is we're about to receive a dog named Koa. Uh, she's a rescue dog. Her owner is uh, taking her from the rescue, from the shelter straight to us. So we're gonna be training her. We're gonna be documenting all of her training. Uh, so she's not even gonna go from the rescue to her. She's gonna come to us. We're gonna create new behaviors and reset the way she thinks and then take her out, socialize her and teach her obedience and build her confidence. So there's a, there's a lot of things we gotta do in there. Um, so she's bringing her straight to us. So she has never uh, had her personally. So she probably won't have much control over her. So we're going to bring her in and introduce her to um, uh, Spot, who's going to be her playmate while she's here and get her used to the environment. So this is what we're doing. We're training with a rescue dog, guys, and we wanted to show you guys the process. So if you have a rescue dog, this will probably be a good video to watch so you can learn and see how we see her behaviors, teach her new behaviors, and get her settled and build her confidence. All right, y'all, she's here. So we're gonna come out and meet old mama. Oh, so in, in the cat, she's fine with it. Yeah, she's never, I mean, she'll, if they run, she'll chase them. Okay. Uh, but she's never done anything. Anything. Actually. She just wants to play with the them. cats. Um, just in a fascination. Yeah. 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 All right. You want to go meet this guy? You Come on. Go? He's Come a on. puppy. And she's good with dogs. She gets a little. Yeah, she has to warm up to them. She gets a little, like, uh, nervous when they, like, come at her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All she does is either lay down or bark at them. Right, right, right. So that's what, what we're going to, we're going to, yeah, I'm not worried about yeah. it. And this guy, he's a little active, so, um, I wanted to see that, right? So, yeah, yeah. So this is going to be her training partner. This is, uh, spot, because he has one spot on his back. And you can let her off the leash. There you go. I know, off spot, off, off, good boy. So Spot is six months. He's only been training Goodness. for five days, Goodness. and he's he was a runt of the loop. Yeah. So, he's and he's so he's already working off leash. Him and his sister. So oh. we're gonna let her just walk around, yeah, and then she can. Yeah, there you go. So she saw what she did. Yeah. She's letting him know stay back. Like, stay away. Right, and oh. she's not doing anything wrong. Yeah, there you go. Come here. 
There you go, spot sit. No. See? You, you ran up on her too soon. So I have her crate set. Okay. This is her crate. Gotcha. So this is her training buddy. Perfect. And it may take maybe a day before she's used to him, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then she'll be running with him. But this is where we're gonna we're gonna start with this puppy to build her confidence. Awesome. And then we're gonna put her with adult German Shepherds. Okay. And then you'll start seeing that transition. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And now you understand why I said do it in here. Yes. Right. Yes. And that's Perfect the sense. the uh, mastiff that's barking. That's fell in love with me. Right. How and long have you had him? Oh, um, we've had him for about two weeks. He's good with other dogs, though. That's the good. Yeah. He's good with dogs, yeah. cats, and everything. He's just when he tries to play with them, he's rough. Like, we had a Connie Corsel that came to yeah. uh, uh, board with us, yeah. and she trained with us before, and he took one hand, and he just swiped her down like she was a poodle. And I was like, that's enough. Then I put him with my, my female <laughs> mouth. You ran into her. Hi, uh, Mama. She says I'm leaving now. I know. So, how do you say her name? Koa. Koa. This is Koa. I had it right. She doesn't really know her name, but Okay, that's and that's the name you yeah. want? Yeah, that's right. Okay. They called her Mona Lisa at the shelter, and I'm just not about that name. Yeah, it's kind of long. Yeah. Koa's an easy symbol yeah, nice. for uh, her, you know, to say Koa and yeah. she. Yeah. Mona Lisa's way too long. Mona Lisa. Yeah. I see she's dipping in the back on her hips a little bit. Yeah. But uh, every dog is going to have hip problems eventually yeah. the older yeah. they get. You know what I mean? There's nothing getting around that. Um, so that's not going to stop her from training. Yeah. And I can tell just looking at her that she doesn't have any wounds or anything. No. Yeah. You know, and she's not, I mean, she is skittish, but not as much as I thought she would be. Yeah, I took her into Tractor Supply with me to, to get her food and all that stuff. Uh -huh. Compared to when we had her in that foster for a week. Koa, a two-year-old female German Shepherd, has just arrived for training. Her owner, Sarah, adopted and rescued Koa from the Humane Society. However, Koa faces challenges with walking on her hind end, as can be seen in the video. To address this issue, Rod has come up with a solution. Koa will be undergoing training in the Madison Bell K9 Joint Amp Hip Therapy Program, which is specifically designed to help dogs with joint problems rebuild their mobility. This program utilizes an old and proven method known as joint traction, a technique that has been employed for musculoskeletal treatment since early days. Manual traction is a mobility technique widely accepted in clinics and used by physiotherapists, physicians, osteopaths, and chiropractors to alleviate pain and other related symptoms. During a traction treatment, a qualified care provider gently distracts the joint, allowing the joint capsule to stretch. This process reduces intra-articular pressure, providing more space within the targeted area. This therapy aims to enhance Koa's mobility and overall well-being, helping her overcome her difficulties with walking and ensuring a healthier, happier life. She'll be like this, you know, she'll be riding it. And I definitely think that I am really confident that we'll be doing all three of them, you know. And she's, and even though, and the reason why she's so mellow, I don't know if you noticed, is because of her hips. If they were normal, she yeah. would be yeah. very active. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, so the, and that dip down. So we just get her on a, a protein supplement. I'll get her on some goat milk to okay. help with the uh, calcium. Okay. And uh, we'll start training with her tomorrow. So like I said, we'll send you videos of yeah. that kind of thing. Um, and this is her, this is going to be her official living space when she, when we're moving dogs around. Okay. So she, we always put them in crates because like I told you before, we don't want something to happen. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And she may be good with him after a day. She may be good with another shepherd, but yeah. I don't throw them all at her. You know what I mean? So because one shepherd may be having a bad day, and next thing you know, that could set back training. Yeah. Okay. You know? So are you comfortable now? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm happy as can be. Yeah. Hey, now, you see, that's why I said we can't do it from... He's always like that. Oh, I know. He's always. All I have to do is bring his sister in, and then he's like acting yeah, like he did, he'll keep like, healing between my legs and stuff because she does that. Yeah. She always heals between my legs, so he tries to get there, so she can't get there in the right spot. Trying to take her place. Right. Uh, all the when his siblings were like eight pounds, he was like three. That's why I was at, uh, answering the question. That was McKenzie, Mama. She texted me. She uh, said. Uh, that works. All right, Mama. And 
something else. That's why I was at, uh, answering the question. That was McKinsey Mama. She texted me. She uh, said, um, That works. All right, Mama. And something else. All right, me and Anna are going to get Trevor and uh, Samantha. Samantha. <laughs> I know. Baby shower present, so um, you got to I don't know, I'll interrupt you. Let's talking. go to a baby shower. Okay. It's still October. It's Halloween. Actually, it's Halloween. It's Christmas time, though, Halloween. Yes. After Halloween things, yay! No Thanksgiving. I miss. What you thinking about? I am not sure. I was thinking to get um, baby wipes warmer. Hopefully they have it because the last one I ordered on Amazon, which was actually amazing. But bottle warmer sterilizer. He said he was cooking this since last night. Right. Yeah, he really started that yesterday morning. Right. Uh oh. Right. Jeez, adorable. What is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Love her. Hi. <laughs> She's adorable. She keep her groomed up nice. She's a little sweet girl. She's a little pretty girl. Oh, that's the one we were talking about? Hey! Uh oh, hey. uh oh, uh oh. Hey! Aww. Yeah. We're supposed to trade them. Hey, hi. Hey. Oh, my. Oh, I know, I know. You just made oh, friends. He, he wants to be a part of the party. Right? <laughs> hey! Well, they Look at that. That looks good. The brisket? He, yeah, he said he was cooking this since last night. Right. Yeah, he really started that yesterday morning. Too. He's a German Shepherd that we're going to be training. But one of the things that we're going to be talking about with Koa is one, she is a rescue. She was at a shelter when she got to us. So that was her first thing. So you may notice that Koa is sitting on the couch and you're like, dang, man, you're a dog trainer. Why is the dog on the couch? Well, we don't have an orthopedic bed for her because Koa has some hip issues. So the only way that I can keep her comfortable is on the couch, right? Until we get her orthopedic bed. So. If I order for me to train her, if she's in pain, I can't train her, right? So we got a couple things we're going to start with. One is going to be fish oil. Yes, they sell fish oil for dogs, not for humans. Get the ones for dogs. There's a difference. My wife can tell you why, right? So then we have supplement joints. We got one from PetSense. We'll start off with that one. Yeah, you get it in Walmart. The seaweed is great, right? This is for the calcium, again. I am not supposed to be talking about vitamins and supplements, but I am. Because I did it a lot with dogs. With humans, you're on your own. You'll see her get down, and you can tell from her back leg, like, she is, like, she's doing a lot better today, but you can see, like, her hips are like this. They're wobbling, right? And we have Reno's Essentials. What is that? The Observe Calcium. But this uh, calcium, it's uh, good for the hips and everything. 
Well, when you get the guts, you Actually, let me I don't know. know if it's gonna be pink. It might be another color. Well, whatever color it's gonna be. So bye. No, come here. Where are you going? Should lay down on the other side. No. She's supposed to be good with dogs, so I need to see her demeanor when she sees the other dog. Cause she kind of got weird with uh, Zeus. So I need to see her demeanor when she sees other dogs. No, I see it. So I, I mean, this is my observation. I need to see how she is to verify information that she's not doing all dogs. Because this is her size and she got, and he's a male dog. She is a small dog and she is half her size, so that's two different ends. Go ahead and put her in your That's two different ends of the uh, spectrum. Shows that she's not the
no cat fascination. He's not trying to go for the cat, right? He's not wearing an e-collar, prone collar, none of that stuff. He's a puppy. She's a full grown adult dog. Koa. Koa. She she's says busy. She'll, she'll clean the crate. She says she's busy. Says uh spot one and tip over his dog food. And there's a puppy here, nothing. Smaller dog, it's right here. So uh, we train the dogs around the cats. They can see a lot of them, and uh, we're good at doing it. Don't you think, babe? Absolutely. Really good at doing it. So that's, again, uh, an illustration of the dogs when they train with us, how they train with us, and real-life case scenario-based things. So, um, I mean, the dogs... Dogs with joint and hip problems often face significant challenges in their daily lives, and these issues can greatly impact their overall well-being. Here's an overview of how joint and hip problems affect dogs and the difficulties they may encounter. Altered gait. Dogs with joint and hip problems may exhibit an altered gait or way of walking. They might limp, favor one leg, or appear stiff when they move. This change in their gait is often a result of the pain and discomfort associated with their condition. It can also lead to muscle atrophy as they try to avoid using the affected limb, which further compounds their mobility issues. Pain and discomfort. Joint and hip problems can cause significant pain and discomfort for dogs. Conditions like hip dysplasia, osteoarthritis, or ligament injuries result in inflammation, restricted movement, and ongoing discomfort. This pain can lead to behavioral changes in dogs, such as increased irritability, restlessness, or decreased activity levels. Reduced mobility. Dogs with joint and hip issues may experience a significant reduction in their mobility. They might struggle to climb stairs, jump onto furniture, or engage in their favorite physical activities. These mobility limitations can be frustrating for both the dog and their owners. Difficulty rising. Rising from a lying down position can be particularly challenging for dogs with joint and hip problems. They may require extra effort and exhibit signs of pain when getting up, making it harder for them to maintain their independence. Reduced quality of life. Joint and hip problems can negatively impact a dog's overall quality of life. They may miss out on social interactions and playtime due to pain and mobility issues. In severe cases, they might become less interested in eating or engaging with their surroundings. Increased risk of falls. Dogs with joint and hip have the importance of adapting to a dog's specific needs and abilities allowing them to enjoy life to the fullest while taking their limitations into uh -huh, account. Uh-huh, she's trying to basically dominate uh -huh. well, she, she looks like she like him. Yeah, she's, that wasn't, so, it wasn't aggressive. No. It's kind of like a playful, Yeah. right? Yeah, it looks like she likes to play with him. Yeah, so she's, so right now she's got her guards up a little bit. She's starting to drop them. Right? Yeah. And Toe keeps, he's forcing her to, he's forcing his way on her. Yeah. Right? So he's, so she's gonna eventually gonna start playing with him, right? Cause he's got her moving. See, now she's starting, now she's starting to play with him. See, now this she's gonna go, if she goes, if she goes over there to see what he's doing, then you know she's involved. So he walked away, he left her, she's kind of like, what the heck? And then he comes back and she's like, okay, let's play. See, now he got her. Now that now she's playing with him. You hear? Yeah. She's crying cause but she can't run as fast as him. Yeah. Right? Oh. Toe only has three paws, so she can he's disabled dog too, so she'll right. learn to keep up. You know what I mean? So this is where we start changing her personality, right? She's running with a dog, a Namalawa, you know what I mean, that has confidence, right? <laughs> and you see, Toe never drops his tail. No. Right? He never drops his tail. Eventually, she's never gonna drop her tail either. Right. She's gonna mimic everything he's doing. 
So she, so, so she's not dog aggressive, but her introduction to dogs, she's skeptical. Right. Right. She's very skeptical when she meets dogs. If they, Toe did come in kind of hard. He came yeah, in super he hard. He came in hard, right? Yeah, he did. So I, if she had he, it nipped him, I wouldn't have been surprised because he didn't, he didn't come in soft at all. And now she likes him yeah. being like that. You know what I mean? Maybe because also we are here. Oh, yeah. look at her tail. He yeah, you see up. it? You yeah. saw the tail, right? Tail came up. What did I say? If you have play, you don't have fear. Right. Right? No, she's more comfortable because we're here. That's true. You know what I mean? If we would have left her out here, it would have been different. Now look, she's walking off to go see what he's mm -hmm. up to. I have a tail up. Do you notice that she's walking a lot better too? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, she's... Oh, nope, no, never mind. <laughs> so she... You stupid girl, go out, get out. Ah. Oh. Come on, mama. Come on. I see you, Koa. Let's go. Come on, Koa. Oh, Koa. So she's like happy today, right? Oh, Koa, yeah, look is. at the she girlfriend. Yes, mama. Oh, yes. So I want to see if she's active. Yes, mama. Hi, mama. Hi, hi. Come on, Koa. Yeah, good girl. She tried her best to get out, but she can't get out of that kennel. Yeah, but she's moving better too what? now. You see yeah, that? she's moved because I gave her more room. She's not in a small four by four. I got you. That's why I slowly brought her out. So you see her. Her not, hips is, uh, look a lot good. better, right? Yes. Yeah. Big time. So if she's you. laying down for long periods on hard surface. You're going to see what you saw when she first came. Mm -hmm. But now that she's been in a big area, we've had her in the living room. She's constantly moving. She's actually running now. Right. She's running now. So now we're going to go ahead and bring out uh, a Belgian Malinois named Toe. He's a puppy. But we're going to bring him out and see how she reacts to him. Let me fix my scent first. <laughs> Little fucking wind knocked it over. What All is right. wrong with y'all? All right. Well, Toe's about to come out, so he definitely going to chase him. He don't know what to do with them. Ah, uh -uh, Koa, come here. No, it's see, tight. You see that movement? Uh -huh. When the cats do that, every dog. Toe only has three paws, so... She can, he's disabled dog too. She'll right. learn to keep up. You know what I mean? So this is where we start changing her personality. Right? She's running with a dog, a Namalawa, you know what I mean, that has confidence. Right? And you see, Toe never drops his tail. No. Right? He never drops his tail. Eventually, she's never going to drop her tail either. Right. Because she's going to mimic everything he's doing. So she, so, so she's not dog aggressive, but her introduction to dogs, she's skeptical. Right. Right. She's very skeptical when she meets dogs. If they, Toe did come in kind of hard. He came yeah, in super he hard. He came in hard, right? Yeah, he did. So I, if she had he, it nipped him, I wouldn't have been surprised because he didn't, he didn't come in soft at all. And now... She likes him yeah. being like that. You know what I mean? Maybe because also we are here. Oh, yeah. look at her tail. He yeah, you see up. it? You yeah. saw the tail, right? Tail came up. What did I say? If you have play, you don't have fear. Right. Right? No, she's more comfortable because we're here. That's true. You know what I mean? If we would have left her out here, it would have been different. Now, look, she's walking off to go see what he's mm -hmm. up to. I have a tail up. Do you notice that she's walking a lot better, too? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, oh, she's... Oh, nope. No, never mind. <laughs> so she... So again, before any any training, we need to, to change. Get off me, Toe. Get off. Change her mindset about about training, right? We want her playing. And now that we got her in the play mode, we can get her in the training mode. She can't run as fast as Toe because her back, but she's she's keeping up, and she's loving life now. Now we got her acting like a dog. So it was a little frustrating. Right. So I'm gonna send it out. Oh, uh, what's going on with Scott? He said uh, we're gonna meet up today at four o'clock. Well, hold on, then I'm recording. Oh.
I mean, I know I'm, in the, I'm going the right direction. Yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, which they have a video that? on their thing that shows how it works. It's just, uh, Rod's decision to implement a double leg brace with a hinged metal splint to help Koa with her rear end joint pain is a thoughtful and proactive approach to addressing her mobility issues. The features and benefits of this brace can play a crucial role in Koa's rehabilitation and overall comfort. Hinged metal splint. The hinged metal splint in the brace provides stability and support to Koa's injured rear legs. This support helps maintain the proper leg positioning, which is essential for dogs with conditions like cruciate ligament, CCL, or ACL injuries. It aids in the healing process and minimizes further stress on the affected joints. Luminous reflective tape. The addition of luminous reflective tape is an excellent safety feature, especially if Koa needs to go for walks during nighttime or in low light conditions. This ensures that Koa remains visible and safe reducing the risk of accidents during outdoor activities. Elastic fixing strap. The elastic fixing strap connecting the collar to the rear leg brace is crucial for maintaining a secure and snug fit. This prevents the brace from slipping off during movement, ensuring that Koei receives consistent support for her rear legs. Versatile use. The brace's versatility makes it suitable for various conditions, including CCL, ACL injuries, luxating patella, and arthritis in Koa's rear legs. This adaptability allows Koa to receive support and comfort tailored to her specific needs. Double leg support. The design of the brace supporting both rear legs, even if only one is injured, helps distribute weight evenly. This reduces stress on the uninjured leg, which is essential for promoting overall leg health and preventing further issues. It's crucial to consult with a veterinarian to ensure that the brace is the right solution for Koa's condition and to receive guidance on proper fitting and usage. Regular monitoring of Koa's comfort and progress is also essential to ensure that the brace effectively aids in her recovery and enhances her mobility and quality of life. So yeah, that looks uh right. That's what I'm saying. She's like, soon as she she not, soon as she's adjusted, right. She's gonna be like, okay, this is for my for right. my own good. Right, right, right. So. She's getting used to walking. Mhm. Mm yeah, we just have to adjust a little bit. All right. Do you think we need to make it more looser or tighter? Um, that's what I'm. I don't know. I'm seeing right here. It's a little yes, uneven. I think maybe just a little loose. It, uh, I think you're a little bit tighter. No, actually, because loose. right here. Because I'm I'm feeling the pressure right, right here. Right here, it's like loose. Right, I'm talking about here. You know, you feeling pressure. Pressure. See, how that's it's the extended. thing. It's um. You see how it's extended? It's like completely tight. But that's the thing. That's the last one. That's the that's yeah. the loosest it could be. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why um, I tried to do. I didn't know, I didn't know if that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm no, trying to see. On, it's that black. It's the black. That's always the black cat. Mm -hmm. Koa, come on. Now I see she's adjusting it now. Yeah, yeah. Now she's walking. She's, I see. Now she's getting used to walking. Yes, because before, the first time it was like weird. Now she's going to be getting that support she uh -huh. needs. And she come was on, like, oh, okay, it's actually on. helping me to walk. Come on, Koa. And it's. Yeah, she's actually walking better now. Yes. And she's adjusting. This is, our, this is our first time in this. Yeah, so and now she's. She's actually walking better now. I see it. It's starting to get better. Yes. She's actually, now she's relying on it like, okay, this this was actually supposed to help me. Right, right. Come on, come on. Now, see, she's being more active because before she didn't care about the cats at all. Yes. See, she looked lucky like, you can get it. I think I can run after you. Now, now we can a little bit maybe loosen up in her ankles. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I, so the only reason why I just wanted to give her that feeling know. like. She don't like it. What, what about, about here? Is this That's what I'm saying. It's like it need to be tied right there a little bit. You're talking about right here? Yeah, you see it? Oh, I'm not worried about this. This is as far as this can be. Uh, yeah. What's this? That's the uh... Stop it. He's trying to wave around me. 
Stop it, Snowco. I'll leave him alone. Oh, I see. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yes, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, good girl. She's no like, okay, this is a, I don't have to wobble, see? Okay, I see you. Uh-huh. Yes, good girl. Come yes, come on, come here. You see what I'm talking about? That's what I was like, I mean, I never had that before, so, like, I didn't know how to. Right, uh-huh. That's why I didn't want to go with the cheap one. That one is a hundred dollars. Let's go, come on, girlfriend. Let's go. Yeah, I see that break, come on. Good girl, yes. That's a good girl, yes, she is a good girl, good girl, yes. Oh my goodness. This is such a good girl. Good job. Come on. So I was like, well, let me go with the hundred one. I started just buying. So that one was a thirty-four dollars, and I was like, I 